Hockey is back! Hockey Ralphie's is back. back! Hockey's back! I'm gonna push back to see You're gonna fall to your knees I'm gonna howl and let the moon Like it's made for me Hockey's back. Hockey is back. Hockey's back. Hockey's back! This is the Hockey Birger episode. As you can tell, Daddy's a bit of a Penguin fanboy. I know we're one of the most hated franchises out there, but it's probably because we won a few Stanley Cups in our time, so <laughs> Philadelphia Flyers. Um, so what we're going to do today for a beerger is we are going to make the poutine beerger, because where'd hockey come from? Just actually a couple miles over the lake that way. So, uh, so we're going to make a poutine beerger. We got some meat from Gordon's. Again, it's the wall, wall burger, brisket, short rib, and ground sirloin, all in this in this ground meat. It came preformed, but we we kind of took it apart and we stuffed it with with cheese curds. You just wait, you just wait. It's gonna be amazing. We're making a beer gravy, and we're gonna pair this beer with an amazing all black beer bottle from Voodoo Brewing. Here we go. Are you ready? That is true, but you're forgetting the finishing touch. What's this? Google it! <laughs> I didn't know this was happening. He's not mic'd up. It's, un it's unplanned. Shipping department. Ship to Diana. Huh. That's strange. Uh. No! <laughs> Is it a brand? <laughs> it's a Birger brand! <laughs> Yeah. Oh my goodness, you can't see it on there because it's all silver. Probably can't see that. Uh, focus. Focus. We're going to use this today. Stamping the poutine birger with birger. Hockey's <laughs> back. Grab your favorite beer and let's go make a birger. Okay, when you go to chop potatoes, use a knife that has those little 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 slits in it there it keeps the knife from sticking just like that and we're gonna cut some thin french fries and then we're just gonna keep chopping them up we're gonna chop up three potatoes worth of little matchstick size french fries yeah look at how pretty then you're gonna take them put them all into a giant bowl fill that bowl with cold water and just give them a rinse Toss them around to get rid of all that starch. You don't want that. And then you need to dry them off before you fry them in hot oil. Water and oil say no, they don't like each other. And we're just going to fry them up in some 400 degree canola oil until they're beautiful golden brown just like that. Look at how perfect. Put them on a paper towel to dry. And then we're just going to sprinkle them with salt. And we made like a kosher salt and black pepper mixture here to sprinkle them with. Get them covered. Cover them up. And here's the Wahlburgers from Gordon's. Look at how perfect they are. Now, as they come at, at uh, Gordon's, they are a little over half pound patties each. And they're perfectly formed for some big old buns. But we're going to take them and we're going to smash them up. And we're going to make a little hole. And we're just going to chop up some uh, cheese curds. And cheese curds are squishy and squeaky and delicious. Yes, they are. And we're just going <laughs> to... Is that enough? I don't think so. Let's add a few more. We're just going to keep putting cheese curds into this burger hole. <laughs> and then we're just going to take the burger. And we're going to just uh, mash it together. Make one big ball. And then once we're ready, we're going to weigh out third pound patties. So... 5.3 ounces each are these patties and we're gonna smash them up until they're nice a little bit wider than your bun because they will shrink when they cook and now it's gonna we're gonna put some clarified butter some ghee on the flat top and we're gonna go ahead and put our buns toasted 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 buns oh hey is that canadian bacon yes it is we're gonna put canadian bacon on this baby too so let's put the get the grill nice and hot and greased up and we're gonna put this uh yeah all these burgers onto our grill and let's get them fired up 
And we're gonna put a little bit of that same kosher salt and black pepper blend right on the tops here. And look at those big hunks. Oh, <laughs> those big hunks of cheese curds inside that meat. That's delicious. Flip them over, look at that beautiful color and char. Oh, I love that. That tastes so good. And these burgers are done. They're thin, so they cook up a little quick. We add a little extra salt. No big deal. And there's the zoom in. And you all oh, there. Sis, sis, that's a pretty burger. Okay, let's make gravy. Put a couple tablespoons of butter, a couple tablespoons of flour in your pan. Stir that flour up. You got to keep it stirring. Add a little bit of salt to it if you like. You could add some other ingredients if you want to as well, like garlic or things like that. Once you're ready and that flour is cooked through, add your beer. This is a beer gravy. Yep, nothing but butter, flour, salt, and beer. <laughs> That's all this gravy is made out of. And it's going to be crazy good. It's, this this gravy actually turned out not to be as great as I wanted it to be, but it was good. It was good. Uh, so then we're going to add our cheese curds to the hot gravy so that the cheese curds begin to melt. Stir them around in there so they're nice and coated. <laughs> Look at that. Just chunky gravy. <laughs> it's great. And now we're just going to pour some gravy onto the bottom bun, get some on there. Now we're going to put our beautiful burgers on there and then our Canadian bacon. Now we're going to stack up those crispy french fries. Look at how perfectly cooked those are. Golden brown and crispy. That's how we like them. And now let's take some of those cheese curds with gravy. Smother it on top of those french fries. Oh yeah, that's awesome. And now put the top on. Here's something special for you. Yes, we are going to torch up the brand. Now, we recorded this in 4K at 120 frames per second, so it's beautiful. Speed this part up. We recorded it in 120 frames per second so we could slow it down. Look at the smoke just pouring out of it. We have to practice with this tool. I think this is going to be a lot of fun to learn how to use so we get it perfectly. What we learned here is not to push it all the way into the bun so that we create just a big black square on everything. You can still see the Birger logo there, but uh, yeah, no, that's, it worked, so that's all that matters. But let's now cut the burger in half so that you can see. You know the routine here. Let's take a peek at the cross section. What do we got? Oh, baby, we got cheese curds, we got french fries, we got Canadian bacon, we got a beautifully cooked burger. Who's this guy? He's back again! Ralphie's back. Back again. For Hockey Day. Hockey is back! Hockey Ralphie's is back. back! Hockey's back! And did you see the brand on the bun? It came out a little crazy. Maybe we made it too hot. I don't know. We gotta practice with that. But let's not practice with this. Let's just eat it up. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Good, Chris. Oh my! Hockey's back. Ralphie back. didn't know what poutine was. I had to explain to him, and he's like, "What's curds?" He's like five sixteenths Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> London is right there. <laughs> he he's 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 parking it. He didn't even know what it was, so I had to explain it to him. What do you think? Whoa! Did Chris, you get a little char from the brand. Oh, <laughs> did <you> get <laughs> I did. That All right, so delicious. we're gonna pair this beer. It's not a Canadian beer, unfortunately. I didn't have any of those in the basement, but we've got a special one. This is called Black Aphotic. From Voodoo, it's a bourbon barrel aged stout with vanilla beans. This is the vanilla version of this one. You know what? I'll have to put the the details in the description. I don't even know right now. <laughs> Let's just drink it. Oh, it pours like gravy. <laughs> it does pour like gravy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. We're back. Hockey's back. I would say that that's a nice touch. And I'm not recording. On that. <laughs> Son of a gun. That's okay. The camera's got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to push record on my recording device. Oh, well.
It happens. <laughs> it, it does. There's just too much going on. But anyways, we got another special treat. We're going to deliver one of these burgers to another Penguin fan. Maybe one of the biggest hockey fans in the neighborhood. <gasps> Not Crystal Tang. He does have beautiful hair, though, you have to admit. So let's go do that. <laughs> is this a Penguins fan? It is a Penguins fan! We have the poutine burger for you. The poutine? Poutine. poutine. What's poutine? Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's 516th Canadian too. <laughs> and he doesn't know what poutine is. What Remember is, Mike? What is poutine? Episode 3, the yes. duck burger. Yeah. It was a big fire. <laughs> so Mike, enjoy your burger. I will. I, I, I've been waiting for you for a couple of hours to get this thing out. <laughs> Mike, oh, so you're going to need a napkin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> So as always, be generous in life, and you say with your beer Okay, yeah. And you say with your beer Oh, with your beer <laughs> <laughs>